guys welcome back to my channel if you're watching remember to switch to hd for a better well i don't know what to call it but just switch to hd okay so this is my first time doing a legit wash and go i just finished washing my hair so i'm doing it on completely drenched hair and i'm just adding in some olive oil in an old applicator bottle i'm just putting this all over my hair um olive oil works really well in my hair considering that it is color treated so i use this a lot whether um I'm washing before I wash my hair, after I wash my hair, or for styling. So, for a cream, I'm using, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a coconut oil curling cream. So based on other wash and go videos that I've seen, um, they usually use like a cream or some type of leave-in before using Eco Styler. So I just thought I would use this, since this is a product that um, usually gets my curls popping. I don't know if people use that word, but it sounds so weird coming from me. But usually it gets your curls defined. The back of my hair is really dry, and I guess it's because of the color. So I usually use like a generous amount of product in the back of my hair before styling um, my hair or using any Eco Styler Gel. The Eco Styler gel that I'm going to be using is the castor oil and flaxseed gel. Um, I've watched videos and it works really well on wash and goes instead of slicking down here. Well, at least for me, it doesn't slick down my hair really well. So um, we'll see what happens by the end of the video. After working it in on both sides of my hair, this is pretty much what it looks like right now. I'm going to check back in a bit later when everything dries, but so far I didn't mind the color, didn't mind the color, <laughs> I didn't mind the texture, I didn't mind how it made my hair feel. So this is pretty much the wash and go. It's not completely dry yet, but I have some errands to run and I don't know, it's okay. Like, let me see. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, I'm making a mess. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. It's drying. Um, yeah, it's not bad. But I don't know if I'm going to do it again. Because definitely shrinks up my hair more than I would like. Maybe when I style it and stuff, I'll come back later and show you guys what it looks like. Maybe do my makeup because I look a hot mess. But it's not bad okay so I'm on the road and my hair is officially dry um the curl pattern is really pretty the length is definitely not what I'm used to it's still drying in some areas Ooh. but it is the length is not what I'm used to it's still drying in some areas but it is relatively dry um earlier I said I probably wouldn't do it again because I'm not used to the length but I don't mind it. I feel like I've been caught up in this thing where I feel like only long hair is cute. My lips are really dry and I have no lip gloss. Only long hair is cute and I don't mind it. This is really cute. So would I recommend the Eco Styler Gel for a wash and go? Yes. Would I do this wash and go again? Yes. Also the shampoo that I used in um, my wash routine video. 
I do have a review on that in on my other YouTube channel, which I'll put the link down in the description box below. You guys can go and check it out. And thanks for watching. Bye. So I lied. I wasn't done yet. But I actually like it now that it's drying more. One side is a little bit more dented than the other, but it's okay. And this is basically the final result, even though it's still drying in some areas. But it's fine. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.